Hey guys, how you doing? Got a little bit of a story here for you today. Uh, I sprung a leak in my radiator. It's starting to steam up. <clears throat> and uh, I got a bit of a story, it's pretty good. I, uh, like I said, I'm the original owner of this truck, right? So, back in the day, I had a radiator put in here. And I saved the receipt, okay? I don't know if you can see that. That's from 1998, okay? I had a Modine radiator put in here, right? $318, lifetime warranty, okay? So I go back down to the shop where I had it done, and the fella tells me that Modine is out of business. They went bankrupt. Okay, what about my warranty? Well, we can't do nothing for you. It's not our fault the Modine's out of business. He says, I can get you another one that's made out of plastic and aluminum. Did you hear that? Plastic and aluminum. And I said, what? He goes, yeah, it'll be about $140. I won't charge you for labor. And, if, you know, if, if you want, I could try to patch this one up first, you know, before we go that route, getting the plastic and aluminum radiator. I said, uh, let me get back to you on that. I did a little looking around online, and uh, actually, I took a little bit of looking around. I found a place that uh, has regular brass copper radiators, the real deal, old school, three core. Uh, the name of the place is uh, Vista Pro. Remember that Vista Pro. If you ever, you guys are ever looking for a radiator, and you don't want to buy no piece of crap plastic and aluminum you got to go with this place called Vista Pro and that's what I did I ordered one I'm having it UPS here I'm gonna put it in myself uh, so I don't know I thought that was pretty interesting that you cannot get a uh, copper brass radiator anymore very hard to find everything's uh, economy crap but I wasn't going for it and on a side note the fella also told me if you plow snow with a truck, going with the plastic and aluminum radiator is not the way to go. They won't last. So, And I do plow snow with this truck, as you can see. So, uh, anyway, guy was surprised. I had my receipts from 1998, and I still have the truck, and it's still the same guy. But, ah, didn't get me nowhere, did it? All right, guys. Just want to give you a little bit of a story. Take care. Have a good day.